Hello guys, it's been a while since I created a tons of videos, it's just about showcase but now we're gonna go with um, a tutorial and also a bit discussions about this character we all know she's a STR character that included on your uh, character especially if you have her and uh, you will be interested to place her on your current uh, party members especially on your spiral albis so this name is Yun Jin she's a 4 star character JU element which is uh, her signature is her elemental burst which gives normal attack bonus on all party members in the field so the interesting part on her uh, talents is the elemental skill which is gives enormous damage just like similar to Beidou's uh, counter so this scales uh, pretty much on her base depth so you won't worry about the attack or uh, attack buffers you just need a depth buffers so like that and we are gonna discuss further on her uh, uh, talent like this so it's elemental skill and also it can add up a lot of damage if you have her constellations yeah um, power spike would be around c4 or constellation 4 to constellation 5 in terms of constellation 6 uh, you'll be gonna like it with uh, for full support which is gives out of um, additional normal attacks and also attack speed before we getting started i just want to thanks all of the supporters and uh, new subscribers for the previous video like this and hopefully you will see a lot of upcoming videos like uh, this one and hopefully see you soon there so the interesting part on uh, this character is her elemental skill which gives a lot of damage based on her uh, base death so you gotta build J.O. damage bonus and a lot of base depth for this one and also you notice the level of charges there's a first and second the second level of charge on her elemental skill is interesting part so well we gonna see how so for this one uh, we show the de demonstration how her elemental skill hits hard so as you notice it's a lot of damage so this is different from other uh, showcases or any damage test and demonstrations so basically her signature part is her elemental burst which is just full support so it showcased the other characters but this time we're gonna show off uh, Yoon Jin's elemental skill which is pretty much will catch your interest so uh, as you notice that a lot of damage so especially the top ones and very cool interesting thing. so actually um, her elemental skills uh, have similar similarities with uh, Beidou's elemental skill which is uh, the counter so with this one the good thing here is uh, you don't have to do counter every time sometimes you just need to press and hold the elemental skill and bam it will show a lot of damage so uh, the power spike for this one i've been using constellation 4 so i have constellation 5 right now and uh, luckily so whenever uh, perform elemental skill or elemental burst as long there's a elemental reaction um, it automatically activates and adapts the damage of her constellation 4 which is a good and interesting part for this character so as you notice uh, this further demonstration it actually pretty hits like a truck even though uh, we haven't finished her build yet so probably the uh, build rebuild would be uh, I'll be shown 
so this is a quick view for the build and hopefully we can get the further good stats and pieces for this character the reason for this build is uh, just for a sub dps uh, additional role for this character since uh, as you notice the base depth is a bit low for a standard stats that usually uh, everyone must attain in order to fulfill her full support for her elemental burst so since the scaling of her elemental skill is uh, a bit high so not the same as uh, Raiden Shogun elemental burst which is uh, scales a lot at high percentage and also similar to uh, Tartalia's elemental burst the flash havoc and the light of obliteration so this one a good scaling that is present from the current characters and upcoming characters probably so it doesn't matter if you if your character lack a bit for the early game early to mid game since uh, the content isn't end game yet so at least you can do a lot of big damage even you lock up a, a certain amount of base depth uh, especially in this kind of character as you notice at the uh, demonstration like this so uh, about the counter similar to Beidou like I said before but uh, the difference is you can hold, uh, you can just hold, press and hold uh, instead of waiting. So uh, B2 needs a uh, perfect, perfect timing of course. On Yunjin you can go advanced since the level of uh, the charge levels is uh, two, so the maximum of level uh, two level charges, unlike Beidou's elemental skill. So showing difference on Yunjin it scales on her base depth only. It's purely base depth. While on Beidou it's a, about a skill damage which is scales on her base attack and the damage bonus from enemy attacks. I just a bit uh, comparison but um, in the further conclusion they have almost the same output. The only difference is the scalings uh, attack and death so that's the only difference but uh, there's a lot of advantage on Beidou since she uh, her talents uh, scales on her base attack and uh, damage from the enemy so in that case Yunjin uh, has a lot uh, need a lot of depth uh, buffer characters just to increase uh, her damage so as of now on the current uh, version there's still a needs uh, prove it for the further uh, further updates probably they will add a another pole arm which scales uh, substance scales with the uh, percentage or depth bonus or another character that will provide uh, a lot of death bonus it will be probably good for Yunjin since her elemental skill only uh, scales on uh, purely scales on her base depth so the attack buffs uh, won't count it, it doesn't count unlike Beidou it's uh, it scales up it counts up or uh, especially Ito Ito has the same uh, concept with Noel, C6 Noel, no? uh, uh, Noel with the full constellation that adapts attack bonus based on the depth, uh, base depth. So, it uh, uh, talks about difference with Yunjin if it's about elemental skill. So, as you see, this is Mago Kenki uh, shows that. Uh, act, her constel fourth constellation activates whenever there's uh, a elemental reaction which is the uh, crystallize so it adds up a 20% uh, 
death uh, increase uh, temporary increase for Yunjin's base death by around 20% okay so for the talents those are the priority for sub DPS like this especially if you're gonna utilize the elemental skill so for me I have five constellations and I already max max out the elemental skill so it's just one more constellations to fully um, get the full constellation or the sixth one the last one so it seems that a lot of adjustments will be for to increase her damage output so those are priority which is the standard ones for support but if you do add damage you can still copy that concept so for this one i'll show again the the build so for the sub dps i usually go with high crit damage for multiplier uh, that though we all know the diminishing return is present so any weapon will do since i just have the stop of home so i'll do that and uh, you will go with the standard useful pole arm which is the dragon's bane but if you do if you do not have those uh, for example you just are only available with a fabonius lance that's fine or any or at least three star uh, which the white tassel that's also good since there's no uh, signature there's there's no signature pole arm for this character yet so you could go with any the pole arm that fits that you think uh, fits for the synergy and also uh, team composition so it shows the power spike which is the fourth constellation and the fifth ones so if you do have the full constellations that's good and for the resonance you see the enduring rock this is much increase her damage output for the furtherance
and that's pretty much it. So for the conclusion, um, she is a strong and S tier character that fits for a support, especially for those characters like um, Tartalia, Ayato, Ayaka, probably Yula or for physical, Razor, or any characters that has a high skill or has a signature damage output from normal attacks so any character that can benefit is good as well so that's how her kit uh, fits for every party members so no i just uh just we just talk about the uh, importance of her elemental skill as well that she can deals a tons of damage and also while buffing the whole party team members so that's pretty much it i uh, hope we're gonna see you guys for the uh, future videos like this so leave a comment if you have some thoughts and share some ideas and also don't forget to click the subscribe button for further updates so in the next video see you guys